Well, first of all, I think it's, I have a message for him for the rest of the world what, on what he, what he should do. I think there is quite a bit of animosity about America for various reasons, and uh, I guess particularly with the uh, with the Islamic people, uh, with others, and uh, and it is very sad because some people think that America wants to play the big brother, it's rich, it's powerful, but maybe no more. <laughs> we see all these banks going bankrupt and so on. And what's happening in America uh, is now given the expression, it is uh, American socialism with Chinese characteristics. <laughs> so things are changing real fast. But I certainly hope that the new administration will be able to project an image that it is very caring it is willing to listen to opposing views instead of always pointing a gun at people's head. And uh, so I, I think there's a lot of fence mending. I know about terrorists, and I think they are bad. But we have to sometimes look behind it. Why is it that some people are prepared to sacrifice their own lives and the lives of their loved ones to kill many other people? I mean, I guess the hatred is very deep, and I hope President Obama can heal this wound. So this is a general message. But for Asia, of course, uh, there are many emerging democracies. And Hong Kong uh, hope to be able to emerge as a very democratic city of China. Uh, America being the champion of democracy and human rights. So we certainly would expect the American government and American politicians to speak out. Uh, on democracy here and elsewhere. And uh, in the past, I think the American administrations have been quite uh, shy about this. I am not inviting foreign interference. I speak as someone who cannot, who is not allowed to travel to mainland China. And that's been the case for almost two decades. But I am not going to beg for mercy. I think that people all over the world uh, who care about human rights and democracy should speak out. And uh, there's no democracy in China. Human rights is under great stress. So I certainly hope America will speak out on these issues. But of course, we all want to be friends with the American president, with the American people. And so, uh, but these core values, which we think are being challenged, and we in Hong Kong, we have been trampled upon because we are not allowed to have democratic elections. And we feel very, very frustrated. So we hope the um, Western world, the rest of the world, will look at the situation in Hong Kong and be our friends. Because many of you people can talk to the Chinese government. I cannot. Although I've been elected by the Hong Kong people to represent them in the legislature since 1991. But I'm, I have no communication, no dialogue whatsoever with the Chinese government. I, no, I am complete persona non grata, which I, I don't know why. The administration here in Hong Kong kept telling me to shut up. They said, Emily, just don't talk too much. Take a step backward. Take three steps backward. Maybe you'll be allowed to go to mainland China. I said, I'm not going to budge. I'm taking no steps backward. But it's ridiculous for Beijing to ban us. So I hope President Obama will talk some sense into the Beijing leadership so that they will engage us, the elected representatives of the Hong Kong people. But in Asia, there are many emerging democracies. We hope the American government, the American Congress will support all these efforts.